Hello everyone, Legend Being It's here, and welcome to another Game Legend. This time we'll be talking about the popular yet somewhat obscure theory about Mario. Did you know that Mario is actually a mass murderer? This theory arises when we look at the original Super Mario Bros. game manual. It says, Object of the game slash game description. One day the kingdom of the peaceful mushroom people was invaded by the Koopa, a tribe of turtles famous for their black magic. The quiet, peace-loving mushroom people were turned into mere stones, bricks, and even horse, field horse hair plants. And the mushroom kingdom fell into ruin. The only one who can undo this magic spell on the mushroom people and return them to their normal spells is the Princess Toadstool, the daughter of the Mushroom King. Unfortunately, she is presently in the hands of the Great Koopa Turtle King. Mario, the hero of the story, maybe, hears about the Mushroom People's plight and sets out on a quest to free the Mushroom Princess from the evil Koopa and restore the fallen kingdom of the Mushroom People. You are Mario. It is up to you to save the Mushroom People from the black magic of the Koopa. Did you pick it up? A tribe of turtles famous for the black magic, the quiet, peace-loving mushroom people were turned into mere stones, bricks, and even horse, field horse hair plants. They were turned into bricks. Have you guys ever noticed kind of what the main theme of Mario is? At least one of them? That's right, you're hitting bricks! And getting stuff that comes out of them. Does this mean that Mario is actually killing all the toads that were turned into blocks to gain whatever they had? Hmm. Sounds rather fishy to me. Now you might wonder about what the horsetail hair plants are. And it's very possible that they're these white roundish bushes that appear in the original Super Mario Bros. game. Now, it's also interesting to note that it mentions the Mushroom King. Who's the Mushroom King? Never once in the series of Mario, to my knowledge, has there ever been any representation of a king except for King Koopa, and possibly kings of other regions, but never the Mushroom Kingdom. It's interesting. It's also interesting that Goombas are not actually animals. Goombas are mushrooms. The description of Goombas in the original manual says, Mushroom who betrayed the ki uh, Mushroom Kingdom, one stomp and he dies. Now that's interesting, especially since Super Mario Bros. 2, otherwise known in America as Super Mario Bros. 2, the Lost Levels, have poison mushrooms. Now what could that mean? Why aren't Goombas poison mushrooms? Perhaps they're regular mushrooms that turn against the Mushroom Kingdom, but that means the regular mushrooms you're eating are sentient. So you're eating something that can feel and walk, which is why it can slide across the screen, apparently. And it can feel pain, however, it can't open its mouth to scream. Now let's take a look at the green Koopa Troopas. Of course, we all know that, you know, these Goombas and the green Koopa Troopas, they're all enemies of, um, and allies of Bowser, right? Well, perhaps. But maybe not. The Green Koopa Troopas are based off of a Japanese folklore tale of turtle-like creatures. I can get into that more, but I don't think I will. The American description for the Green Koopa Troopa states, Soldier of the Turtle Empire. His orders are to find and destroy Mario. Jump on him and he stops moving for a while now. Now, if I'm mistaken, that doesn't even mention Bowser. So it brings the question, why are all these other regions and kingdoms fighting against Mario? 
Now, if we look at the spinies, the American description is Lakitu's pet, a wild fighter. You can't kill him by jumping on top of him. And that brings up the question, well, who's Lakitu? Lakitu is, to put it simply, a Koopa that's flying in a cloud. I haven't found the in-manual description of it, but we have the spiny eggs. Eggs of the turtle spiny, pet of a Lakitu. You can't destroy them by jumping on them. That's interesting. I wonder why it wouldn't mention the Lakitu. Now, if you find something that mentions Lakitu, please tell me, and I'll add it in the description. But I haven't found one, so... So just uh, let me know if you find something about it, but I haven't found anything in the manual. Now, let's look at something such as the piranha plants. The American Guide says, Man-eating plants that live in the flower pots. They show their faces quickly without warning, so watch out. You can't kill them by jumping on top of them. Okay, fair enough. Plants, they'll eat you. They're just, you know, Venus flytraps. What about cheap cheeps? Usually found in the water, but also sprouts wings and flies, so you have to be careful in the air too. It can be killed above while she's in the water. Funny, the cheap cheap is a female. Bullet Bills. Chases after Mario, slowly but steadily. You can kill him by jumping onto him from above. Or bloopers. Chases Mario stubbornly, a guy to look out for. You can't kill him by jumping on him. Now, let's take a look at this thing called the Mushroom Retainer. Seven mushrooms who originally served in the court of Princess Toadstool, but are now under the spell of the evil Koopa King. That's strange. I don't... Um... The only time they're ever mentioned is when they're in the castles. However, weren't the residents supposed to be turned into blocks? Does this mean that the, all the residents of the Mushroom Kingdom aren't toads, but some other species? Or are these just higher ranks? I don't know. Maybe you do. Of course, we're just staying to the canon of the original Super Mario Bros, possibly going to 2 and 3. Now Bowser. What is his description? The Sorcerer King holding Princess Toadstool captive in the last castle. He comes at you spitting fire. There are several ways to kill him, but you only get points if you use fireballs. Huh. That's quite interesting. And while we're at it, let's look at the princess. Princess of the Mushroom Kingdom. She is the only one who can break the spell of the Koopa King. And her icon has a question mark. Which is interesting. However, would you take a look at this? She is the only one that can break the spell of the evil Koopa King. Mario knows this. Or at least he should. He's going to rescue her, correct? Then why is he destroying the very creatures that he's rescuing her to protect? Doesn't make much sense, does it? And all these other creatures... They don't mention being allies of Bowser. So perhaps, Mario's not destroying these enemies because they're out for Bowser. The only one that said that it was actually trying to kill Mario was the para Koopas, the regular Koopas, both green and red. And the Goombas, but they only said that because they're evil mushrooms. Interesting. Now you see, the Koopa is based off of the Kappa, a mythical creature from Japanese folklore. Basically they resemble turtles, and the Koopa is kind of a play on Kappa. Easy to tell. In the arcade game, they were known as Shell Creepers. It's fairly interesting. The old design was much different than they are now as well. 
And if you've noticed, that in the later games, these Koopas, when thrown into lava, will become dry bones. You don't see it directly happening, but you see Koopas and you see dry bones. And in the new Super Mario Bros, you can see Bowser turning into dry bones. Interesting. As I said, I'm only taking from the canon of the original Super Mario Brothers, but who knows? Now, a question is, if all these enemies aren't necessarily allies of Bowser, why are they trying to kill Mario? Maybe they're not trying to kill him because they want Bowser to succeed. Maybe all these quote-unquote enemies are actually allies of the Mushroom Kingdom, and they know that Mario's destroying these blocks, killing the residents of the Mushroom Kingdom, and they're trying to stop him. Even the ones you find in castles, perhaps they were storming the castles and they didn't have enough force to get all the way through. Maybe they're not guarding Bowser's castle, but instead maybe they're going to destroy Bowser. Of course, you do that. You rescue the princess. But then it's too late. I've already broken most of the toads and residents of the Mushroom Kingdom. There's hardly anyone left to save. And the manual, as I stated before, says you are Mario. It is up to you to save the Mushroom People from the black magic of the Koopa. Well, you sure do some saving. You kill them. You. Not Mario. But you. You are Mario. So next time you play, maybe consider not breaking any blocks. Succeed in your mission. And don't kill the toads. Maybe then Mario would be a true hero instead of the truth of what he really is. A murderer. And remember, it's just a legend, right? A game legend.